I am a guitarist, vocalist, producer, composer. Um, my sound is made up of uh, a blend of West African folk music and jazz um, and, and a bunch of other little things in there, but that is primarily what it is. I guess it's kind of, uh, I don't know, neo-West African something or other jazz. So, you know, there's it's lots, lots of influences in there. Yeah, all the songs on this new record are basically um, leaning very heavily on kind of using jazz like harmonic language and and a lot of African rhythm, um, but also you know um, since I've been I've been living in London for a long time and there's a, there's a style of music in London called broken beat, which is a real big influence on me. So between that and Afrobeat, the you know the the old school fella Kuti style, high life, you know um, these are all the things that are going into kind of making the 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 the, the music on the new record. The songs are, are mostly inspired by stories that I, I was told as a kid either by my father or by people around because growing up in Nigeria, West Africa as a child, um, you would, there, it was always story time, you know, you would always be told stories for different reasons and what I remember from those stories is each one was kind of, was driving like at a certain emotion or a feeling and it's trying to recapture some of those things by using um, my musical influences um, to create hopefully a feeling that reminds me of that and shares that with other people. Well, I'm working with Pledge Music um, to do this because I like the fact that they solely work with artists, with musicians. And it's great with Pledge Music because um, they don't just kind of leave you on your own, you're really, they get involved with you. And basically what it means is that fans and people who are into the music can pre-order the music so it's not like a charity where you just give us money and we go off and do whatever we want with it you're basically saying i want to hear your music i want your music to come to life so i'm gonna pay for it up front you know um and then that allows creative musicians like myself the uh, the leeway and the and I guess the, the creative autonomy to create what we want without some a and r guy breathing down our neck. From the day I started, really, I mean, well, I've always wanted to be an artist. You know, I've always felt like what I'm, mo I'm most motivated to do is to write music that comes from my heart and share that with people. And um, doing sessions and stuff, it's, you know, it's some people much prefer to do that than to be, to be artists doing original music. For me, I would rather just be doing original music with, not just by myself, but also collaborating on original music with people of like mind. Um, you know, I, don't, I think it's whatever, whatever makes you go, you know, I'm alive, that's what one should focus on. And in my case, it's really like trying to put together creative projects that really make me, you know, that push me both as a, as a, as a musician, but also as a human being, you know, trying to dig deep and find the things that really matter. Well, I find, I find myself um, doing a, lo a lot of producing, arranging, composing for others. Um, I also teach some. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's basically, it, it, everything revolves around a similar, it, it, it all kind of feeds into one another, you know. There's been times when I've been teaching and I've had the inspiration for a composition that's gone on one or of my last two albums, you know. And there's times when you're playing a gig and you realize, oh, this might be a nice concept to share with a student later on down the line, something pops into your mind or, or happens, you know, so everything feeds into one another. And I think you can develop yourself as a musician with everything that you do, whether it's writing, composing, teaching. <laughs> wow, that's a telling question. Um, the most interesting person I've had the pleasure of playing with, um, I mean, I've played with a lot of interesting people. I mean, one of my biggest uh, moments was when I met and played with George Benson, who was like an absolute hero from the beginning. Um, but actually, I haven't had the good fortune of playing with this guy just yet, but we've jammed a few times. I mean, we've played, but not officially on a stage, but we've jammed a few times, and it's a, another guitarist from West Africa called Lionel Lueke, just because um, I love the way his mind works. You know, he's a really, really interesting musician. He thinks in a very interesting way, and we have a lot of the same background, which, which I find uniting and, and you know it's 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 encouraging it's motivating working with with amy winehouse was interesting because um we were working i guess in a very kind of pop music environment but working with someone who 
again comes from a similar background to you so you know she was heavily heavily influenced by jazz and hip-hop amongst other things um and that i found that that made it it was a pleasure to work with her because she really honestly genuinely loved the music and you know being her music director whenever i would suggest ideas it was easy to get ideas across because we had similar backgrounds she would just be like oh, do what you want darling it's fine i trust you you know and it was great it was fun it was uh it was um it was always and no two shows were the same which i really enjoyed about playing with her to younger musicians i would say you know what do what you love you know like go where your heart is there's, there's a lot of pressure nowadays especially with how open everything is with youtube and facebook there's a lot of pressure to be to be kind of a part of a, a group or to be to be seen to be doing a specific thing but I, I would say to any musician do what your heart drives you to do you know um do what you love if you really want to do like sessions and and be the number one session player you should go with that with all your heart and if you want to be an artist who makes music that only five people on the planet want to hear then that's cool too you know just do because i think as long as you're happy it's easier to make other people happy if you see what i mean <laughs> um i do yeah I'm a, I'm a bit of a hobbyist chef you know i like to cook different things i experiment with lots of dish, dishes from you know all over the place but my favorite thing to cook is a west african dish known as jollof rice um i've been nicknamed the Prince of Jollof because of this very reason. Um, I tend to, whenever I work with bands or groups of people, I tend to, if I have the time, like cook a big pot of Jollof and bring it to rehearsals or gigs. People love it. They kind of, they kind of starting to look forward to it now. So um, I don't know, we, maybe we can have a Jollof party sometime in the future. <laughs> yeah, I was recently in Australia with, a, with some friends of mine. I was doing a couple of gigs and also watching one of my best friends get married. And he decided that he wanted his family, his entire family, to experience this Jollof thing that he had experienced at my place. So um, I was forced to, well, I wasn't forced. I, I enjoyed it secretly. I basically cooked Jollof rice for about 25 people. And it was all the trimmings. It was Jollof and chicken and plantain and everything, you know. It was really good fun, actually. It was probably one of my best batch um, to date, which was in, in Perth, Australia. So I don't know what that says. If you haven't um, had a chance to see my session yet, do go and check it out on this link. Um, and also, um, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support my next album, you can go to pledgemusic.com forward slash Femi Tamoa and, um, and get yourself a copy of the new album before everybody else.